Hello, Telvani here, and I just wanted to very quickly talk about two new additions for Wanders in Path of Exile 3.24 Necropolis, Sacred Wisp support and Grace of the Goddess. When I initially saw the Sacred Wisps showcased in the live stream, they caught my attention. I thought to myself, are Wanders back? And today, GGG in a teaser post finally shared with us some hard numbers on the skill gem. Sacred Wisps cause wand skills to have a chance to summon two orb-like apparitions that follow you around, and each of these wisps have a chance to fire projectiles whenever you do. It's sort of similar to Mirage Archer, but for wand builds. At 2020, the gem summons two wisps that have a 50% chance to fire projectiles when attacking rare or unique enemies. This chance is slightly lower at 25% when fighting normal or magic monsters, but most of the time you're caring about damage on rares and uniques. So looking at damage against rares and uniques, if the gem stopped there, this would be a 100% more damage multiplier. However, you'll notice that the wisp attacks are 51% less powerful than our own, so this support gem ends up being closer to a 49% more damage multiplier. That being said, 49% more damage for a single support gem is incredibly powerful, with something like Awakened Elemental Focus only providing 39% more damage. So I think most wand builds are going to end up running this. However, I'm still not convinced that this is going to be enough of a buff to wanders to make them a very strong league starter. Most wander builds are still going to need a lot of investment to feel comfortable, on the other hand, I do think this gem will end up seeing a lot of use mid to late league, as players start to transition away from their league start builds and are looking to dump currency into a second or third character. With the huge and substantial nerfs to tornado shot characters, I think there's a good chance we'll end up seeing a lot more wander builds, dominating the Poe Ninja charts later on. Next up, we've got the Grace of the Goddess Prophecy Wand. Information regarding this was released alongside the teaser for Sacred Wisps, and I can see why. This looks to be a fairly strong unique wand, as the plus one maximum wisps alone is going to be another 25% more damage for a build utilizing Sacred Wisps. It's also got a pretty beefy amount of flat physical damage, and the physical as extra elemental damage is nothing to laugh at. However, one of the biggest drawbacks to this wand is the fact that it's a pretty bad base type for attack based builds. It's got an incredibly slow attack speed, and it's also got a pretty high requirement of 245 intelligence. On top of that, it's missing attack speed and critical modifiers from the item itself, things that you'd really want to see on an end game wand. I could see this being a very powerful early game wand for any wander build, assuming you can get the attributes for it, and it'll likely be a good transitional stepping stone before you can get a more powerful rare wand. However, we don't know the rarity of this item yet. We don't know how often it's going to drop. If it's incredibly rare, or it drops from something like an uber boss, well, it's not going to really be helpful for people looking to use it very early on in the league, particularly at league start. In the end, while these two additions look to be quite nice, I'm not convinced they're going to be enough to push the needle towards wand builds early on. As things stand, I think the people that would be most likely to play a Wander are probably going to be looking at starting Lightning Arrow, Deadeye, or perhaps even Lightning Strike Raider. However, like I said earlier, there is a good chance that these same people end up transitioning into a Wand build mid to late league, and Sacred Wisp support specifically is looking quite juicy to do so. Anyway, thank you for watching, good luck with your league, and I'll see you in the next one.